But before that, if there's one style of music which suits Halloween, it has to be the rock genre known as goth, with the likes of Susie and the Banshees and The Cure. And gothic imagery is becoming ingrained into our society in recent years, with programmes like The Vampire Diaries attracting millions of viewers. What you might not know is that goth music began right here in our region 35 years ago, thanks to two bands in Northampton and Luton. Our black-hearted reporter Matthew Hudson has been taking a look back to where it all began. 1979, Margaret Thatcher is ensconced in Downing Street. Her Majesty the Queen has asked me to form a new administration and I have accepted. Strikes plague the country and Art Garfunkel has the best-selling record with bright eyes. Meanwhile, in Luton and Northampton, 35 miles apart as the bat flies, Two unknown bands are creating a new type of rock music, one that's still very much with us today. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, youth movements were a bit like buses. If you miss one, don't worry, there'll be another one along in a minute. Post-punk, new wave, mod, ska, new romantic, rockabilly. They and others came and for the most part went. But goth, well, goth stayed with us. Recorded by Northampton band Bauhaus, Bella Lugosi's Dead was the first goth record. A tribute to the late horror movie actor, it was over nine minutes long and unlike anything we'd heard before. Derek Bentley became the band's manager after filming this never-before-seen footage of them performing the song in front of a largely bemused audience at the Romany pub in Northampton. It's so new, singer Peter Murphy is reading some of the lyrics from a piece of paper. I literally sent a shiver up my spine. Uh, every song seemed to be different and I couldn't think of any band that they were like. But Bella Lugosi's Dead in particular, it was, it was just a magic moment. Bauhaus enjoyed considerable success, including three top 30 albums before splitting up in the early 80s. The band's members are now scattered around the world. But Mavis Tompkins was in at the birth of Lugosi. Married to producer Derek Tompkins, who died in 2011, she helped out at the recording sessions in Kettering. They were very goth-like, you know, they all wore black and a lot of heavy eye makeup too, especially Pete Murphy. He loved that sort of thing, and um, I just enjoyed being with them. It was, it was an entirely new thing for me. But if Bauhaus gave us the song, who gave us the name Golf? Step forward John Abbo Abbott, lead singer of Luton-based UK Decay, who described his band's style as golf during an interview with a music paper 35 years ago. It gave it a mystery. You know, it wasn't just obvious, it wasn't, you know, punk was a very simple word, you know, uh, glam, very simple word, rock and roll, very simple, you know, blues, jazz. It was a bit more, uh, the name itself could conjure up a lot more different sort of ideas, I thought, you know. Decay are still very much alive. In their early years, they helped define the sound of goth music. Pounding tribal drums, driving bass, spidery skeletal guitar, and lyrics with more than a passing nod to Edgar Allan Poe and Bram Stoker. They still fill good-sized venues across Europe, and they're a favorite on the festival circuit. Guitarist Steve Spawn has been there since the early days. We felt that we could grow something from scratch that would um, possibly uh, you know, last a few years, but we had no idea really that it was going to um, <laughs> carry on as long as it did. Today, you'll still see goths on every high street and in popular culture. Many of us, it seems, are still drawn to a bit of dark romance. Perhaps we'll leave the last word to Derek Bentley. Goths are laughed at in the street, aren't they? And it's a joke on the telly. But if you want a bit of style, you're going to be dressed in goth, aren't you? Matthew Hudson, ITV News, in Luton and Northampton. Ever do the goth thing? No, it wasn't not really your, my Not style. your style. No. A bit brighter, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, our very own master of darkness, and light for that matter, is here. Weather shortly with Aidan. Uh, you picked a few nice days, didn't you, to take off this week? Oh, 